Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to my channel dedicated to all things gaming in virtual reality. Today I'm going to be looking at the best way to play. Did you know that there are now four different ways you can play VR on your Quest 2? Let's get straight into it then and remember, we're born to respawn. Before we start, the channel is growing rapidly at the moment and if you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, please consider subscribing and maybe drop a like on this video. You can also support the channel via Patreon or by going to my online shop at thetshirtstudio.com and purchasing one of these super stylish tees. All the links are in the description down below. Thanks. After being on sale for over a year now, the Valve Index is still seen as the premier experience in VR, has a great screen only recently outdone by the HP Reverb G2. The best audio solution, a wide 110 degree field of view, sub-millimeter tracking via the base station 2s, and that experimental 144 hertz refresh rate. But this is it. This is how you play on a Valve Index, in a dedicated play space and tethered to your PC via a cable. This is my Oculus Quest 2. The Oculus Quest 2 is a great bit of kit. You are able to play standalone wireless VR basically anywhere you want, but it's the versatility that really starts to shine when you realize there are no less than four different ways you can play VR by the little beast. Number one, obviously you can just pop the headset on and you'll be playing in VR within seconds. Two, you can upscale the resolution using a handy app called SideQuest, full tutorial here. If you have a VR ready PC, three, by the official link cable, which I have, or a third party compatible USB cable. Four, last but no means least, virtual desktop for wireless PC VR streaming. Again, full tutorial here. So today I'm doing a deep dive to find out the best way to play on your Oculus Quest 2. Excited? I know I am, so let's get started. To find out the best way to play, I've played three different games in all four different ways to play. So we have Onward, the best hardcore military sim in VR. Two, Robo Recall, nearly four years old now, but still one of the best looking games on Oculus. And finally, three, Population One, the manic battle royale game and the best multiplayer game available in VR. The footage for the standalone and side quest upscale gameplay have been recorded using the Quest's internal recorder, whereas the link cable and virtual desktop gameplay footage have been recorded using the OBS app on my PC. The side quest upscale settings are as follows. 90 hertz refresh rate, foveated rendering set to high top, CPU and GPU at level 4, and finally default texture size at 2048. Using the official Oculus Link cable, the settings are as follows 90 hertz refresh rate and rendering resolution at 1.5. Virtual desktop settings are HVEC encoder on the streamer app, 90 hertz refresh rate, graphics high, bit rate at 90 megabits per second, and sliced encoding on. Let's start the comparison, and I'll see you back here in a minute or three.
What did you think of that? Could you spot the differences? Is your experience different to what I've shown? You know the drill. Get involved. Comment down below. So it turns out the answer is a little bit more complicated than just the best way to play. If you do not have a VR ready PC, then using the SideQuest upscaling feature is probably the best way to go for you. But bear in mind that using this method will reduce your battery by up to a third, as I showed in this video here. If you do have a VR ready PC, then, well, it gets even more complicated. Using the official Oculus Link cable with a refresh rate set to 90 Hz and render resolution set to 1.5 makes a noticeable difference, but you have to contend with that cable. Virtual Desktop gives almost exactly the same performance, but you need a decent 5 GHz Wi-Fi signal with no internet traffic to slow you down. My personal choice? As any fan of the channel knows, I am a huge fan of Virtual Desktop, so that is what I would pick. Disagree with me? Got another option for me to try out? Get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. Remember, if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. You can also support the channel via Patreon or by buying some of my lovely tees and other merchandise from tshirtstudio.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.